now we will be talking about the unit of expression of concentration in air and water pollutants. So one is ppm which is equivalent to milligram per liter or milligram per decimeter cube and one is ppb which is microgram per liter or microgram per decimeter cube. So before we start this part we have to remember that one quintal is equal to 1000 kg which is equivalent to 10 to the power 4 gram and one metric ton is nothing it is one ton which is 1000 kg and 10 to the power 6 grams one feet correspond to 12 inches one inch is 2.54 centimeter sorry one million is 10 to the power 6 and one billion is 10 to the power 9 now let's try to understand the ppm which is nothing but parts per million so it's 1 by 10 to the power 6 or 10 to the power minus 6 parts per million and ppb is parts per million which is 1 divided by 10 to the power 9 parts so 10 to the power minus 9 parts so let us suppose we do a question which one is greater 1 by 10 or 1 by 100 so smaller the denominator larger the fraction and larger the denominator smaller the fraction so 1 by 10 to the power 6 is more bigger as in magnitudinal quantity in comparison to 1 by 10 to the power 9 so ppm is basically a bigger unit in comparison to pp b that needs to be kept in mind that ppm is bigger than ppb and ppm is no doubt a bigger quantity or unit of expression than ppb and ppm is equivalent to 1 mg per 1 liter or milligram per liter and ppb basically gives that 1 microgram per liter or microgram per liter now let's see the relationship between ppm and ppb so here we can see the ppm which is nothing but 1 upon 10 to the power 6 or we simply say 10 to the power minus 6 divided by ppb 1 ppb which is 1 upon 10 to the power 9 comes out to be 10 to the power minus 9 so we can say that ppm divided by ppb or 1 ppm divided by 1 ppb comes out to be 1000 and ppm 1 ppm is equal to 1000 ppb this relationship is very important that 1 ppm correspond to 1000 ppb when it comes for the application part for like remembering density of water you must remember because it helps in lots of numericals which comes out to be 1 gram per cubic centimeter 1000 kg per meter cube now ppm is nothing but milligram per liter which could be written as like 10 to the power minus 3 gram per 10 to the power 3 ml which comes out to 1 gram per 10 to the power 6 ml or 1 gram per 10 to the power 3 liter so it is almost the same thing now let us understand this concept with the help of a numerical which will make our concept more stronger in comparison to the other thing where we require some more amount of skills so that we can understand better the ppm and ppb concept this is very simple to understand so let us suppose in a question a us epa set a limit of concentration of lead in drinking water at 15 ppb and you find the concentration of lead in your water is 18 microgram per 100 ml find what whether this is above or below the prescribed limit so here we can understand that ppb is nothing but microgram per liter so 18 microgram per 100 ml means what 18 microgram per 100 ml convert into liter so it comes out to be something around 180 microgram per liter 180 ppb and the given concentration was 15 ppb so obvious it is quite high and it is high by a 165 ppb so hence it is very high than the prescribed limit and it is high by 165 ppb around another question if 100 gram of water sample contain 1.5 mg of arsenic then what is the concentration of arsenic in sample in ppm and ppb so here as the arsenic is dissolved in water so 1 gram quantity is equivalent to 1 ml and 1 kg quantity is equivalent to 1 liter as we know the density of the water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter and 1000 kg per meter cube so sample is having 1.5 mg of arsenic then we can see we can simply convert this 1.5 mg per 100 ml of arsenic 
so in ppm is like mg per liter so 1.5 mg per 100 ml converted into liter which comes out to be 15 mg per liter which is 15 ppm and 1 ppm is 1000 ppb all of you know as we have discussed earlier so 15 ppm will be 15000 ppb so now the next question is asking to calculate the molarity of 19,000 ppm of chloride, 2,600 ppm of sulfate, 1,300 ppm of Mg2+. So let's do one by one. In first question, 19,000 ppm of chloride. So this means that 19,000 milligram per liter of chloride is present. So molarity we know it's number of moles divided by volume of solution in liter. So number of moles is nothing. It is given weight upon molecular weight. So you put up the given weight upon molecular weight and the here the weight is something around 19 gram. 19,000 milligram is 19 gram. And molecular weight for chloride ion is 35.5. So see we can simply calculate the moles which is 19 divided by 35.5 which is given weight upon molecular weight. And it comes out to be 0 0.53. So the molarity will be 0 0.53 by 1 liter, which is 0 0.53 molar. And then subsequently, next question, two questions can be done in similar manner. While taking the mass of sulfate and magnesium while calculating the number of moles. Then there is a question for comparison. Like which one is greater? 10 ppb or 0.05 ppm so as all of you know that 1 ppm is equal to 1000 ppb so let's convert this ppm into ppb so it comes out to p 50 ppb so 100 is more than 50 and in the next one it comes out to be 20 2 lakh 50 thousand ppb so the second one to 50 ppm is greater in the third case it comes out to be 1000 ppb so third case also 1 ppm is greater in the next question a lab has measured the amount of mercury in a seaweed sample like 0 0.005 gram per kg and what is the concentration of mercury in ppm and ppb so this is an easy question you can do it as a homework the next topic of our discussion is